Good evening, everybody. I hope you're doing well. So, uh, just a few days ago, we actually saw the release of the Champion Sticker Capsule. It was a bit delayed. Uh, that was weird. I'm not sure why that happened. But in this video, I'm now going to start talking about the next thing that we have to be aware of and prepared for. And that is the impending uh, potential appearance of the 75% discount. And we have no idea specifically when this will happen. You know, it's whenever, it's whenever Valve feels like it, isn't it? So usually uh, when you see the champion sticker capsule appear, you'd expect maybe within a week or so, or just a bit over a week, you'll then see the 75% discount hit. Uh, because this was delayed by 11 days for some strange reason, I'm, I reckon it will very likely appear at some point next week for us. I don't know what it's gonna be like in the future. Just take that into consideration. Normally you would expect the champion's capsule to appear like a day or two after the final match has been played for a tournament but this was delayed so this might be a little bit different but on average at the moment it seems that about about two weeks after the final match has been played from the csgo major you will see the 75 75% uh, discount hit but this one's been a bit weird anyway so as i said this has now appeared the champions autograph sticker capsule we now need to worry about our short-term buy orders so if you can remember from the playlist as we go over to here i made quite a bit of a fuss about the likes of uh, short-term buy orders uh, figuring out buy order prices for short term and long term and i'm pretty i'm pretty sure a lot of you made a plan and you did your buy orders when all the stickers appeared uh, as you can see here we waited for quite some time but it finally hit and we had fun didn't we and in the future you probably have gone through a bunch of buy orders with a future um major but now as i said i have all of these stickers here and this account was the account that did the short-term buy orders the higher prices we're just going to go through all of these now and get a good idea of which potentially uh, i should be removing makes sense so everything that i'm about to talk to you about here right now isn't 100 percent going to be perfect but it's a good generalization i reckon right so yeah don't be surprised if it doesn't work perfectly for you in the future but um it's very likely going to be a situation where most of the stickers you have will be f fairly fairly compliant i guess in terms of what we're going to be talking about right here right now based on figuring out where the prices might end up at so let's just jump straight into that gentlemen let's go pick out some of these stickers da, 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 right so as i said these are my short-term buy orders they have they have higher prices and the main thing that we need to figure out now is what was the average sale price for all of this sticker's existence which has only been around for about a month so as we look through all of here there were some high points and there were some low points i'm just going to sit here and say i'm probably not even going to take into consideration this spike in price because they qualified didn't they uh, at the very last minute and they did play rather well they managed to get to the um the final stage and then they lost unlucky team liquid but they did they definitely did a whole lot better than what people were expecting let's just go over to here so in my currency it seems to be that the average sale price overall seems to have been about four pounds that's like four four dollars fifty almost five dollars so four pounds my currency is the average sale price over the all of its existence throughout the tournament right if we're going to see the 75 percent discount hit the uh, sticker capsules in theory based on the average sale price we will see this sticker sell for a pound at some point that would mean my one pound 72 by order right here which is equal to about two dollars that's too high because one pound is equal to about one dollar 25 at the moment on the steam market uh based on current date um but yeah do you understand this i'm i'm figuring out what should potentially be the average sale price and then i divide it by four because 75 percent down makes sense so knowing that at some point i do need to remove this buy order and the longer i wait the more risk i take right as i said it's normally around at the moment like two weeks after the final match has been played from the tournament where we'll see the 75 percent discount and if i'm not fast enough to remove my buy orders my short-term buy orders that are too high in price when the uh, discounted sticker capsules uh, appear everyone's going to instantly jump in buy as many as they can open as many as they can and they're going to sell them to the highest buy orders as, as fast as they can it's a good money maker all right that is why people do it <laughs> and if you are not fast enough if you're not fast enough to jump in and quickly you know sort out all of your short-term buy orders that's it you've lost your money so yeah 
unlucky but that is the situation all right so this is why you have to do this cleanup this is necessary and uh, as i said you could keep waiting it out you could keep waiting it out but the more the longer you do that uh, the more risk you take and with it being so if the tournament ended when what like the 22nd uh cool how long what's, 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 no it was the 21st so it's been almost two weeks basically we're getting there i wouldn't be surprised if uh, we see in june uh next week one of these days being when the discount hits so i guess probably over this weekend i'm just gonna have to properly start cleaning all of these up and we know team liquid hollow by order right here it's too high all right it's too high uh yes zero i am recording <laughs> um so uh yeah now i'm gonna go look at the likes of this mouse hollow all right so um yeah mouse hollow paris 2023 appearance kind of screwed over the stockholm mouse hollow oh dear yeah so um anyway this uh sold a lot in terms of by uh, and based on its price because with the stockholm one being very expensive this instantly became valuable blah 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 blah. you get the idea um right now this is currently selling for around uh 12 dollars almost but this is my currency this is my currency boulder two pound fifty so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go ahead and figure out the average sale price started off pretty high mouse kind of failed instantly <laughs> went down so for the vast majority of the time it's been selling around ten dollars not too high not too low it's just literally stuck around ten dollars for the vast majority of its existence so if i went 75 percent down what's the price going to end up being two pound fifty hmm. hmm. if that's potentially the low point i might just keep the buy order you know mouse hollows 250 each surely that'll go up in price in the future pending mouse don't qualify for more future majors <laughs> but 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 copenhagen's not for another nine months so overall as time goes on potentially might be going up in price it could it might it very likely could so i'm gonna sit here and think okay if that's potentially the lowest price it might hit two pounds fifty which is equal to about three dollars Maybe I'll just keep the buy order, you know? And then, as I said, uh, hopefully from then on, if that's the lowest point, uh, as time goes on, I'll, I will be making profit out of them if I want to sell them. So, yeah. Do you understand that now? I figured out the average sale price. Um, I kind of generalized it a bit, a bit, but yeah, as I said, for the vast majority of its existence, it's been selling for £10 my currency, so 75% down there. Yeah. And I'm happy to keep that because I wouldn't mind buying them at potentially its low point. So I'll keep that. So that's more about personal preference and strategy. If I'm I'm more than happy for that to happen, I'll take it. I'll keep that. So yeah, that buy order will stay. Then we'll move on to the likes of Monte Hollow. Uh, they did rather well, didn't they? Um, so right now they're selling for like, uh, I think $4 and a bit. Yeah, $4.50 almost. So we're almost there. Uh, but the average sale price... The average sale price there was a bit of a spike as i said they did rather well and then obviously they got knocked out <laughs> dead um maybe we'll just skip this uh climb climbs are nice but you see a lot of teams that did rather well and then get knocked out go pretty high and then <laughs> i don't even really want to consider this so uh da -da 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 -da. I, I would sit here and say maybe the average is around here it's probably about four pounds well guess what my uh buy order is 86 pennies hmm <laughs> that is less than a dollar i mean a pound well that is a dollar is what i meant to say but it is less than a pound and it's close enough to one whole pound where i'm like you know what? i'll just keep the buy order i'm happy with that i'll keep that because in theory it's still close enough to the pound spot if the pound is potentially the lowest point uh pound at the moment as i said is equal to about a dollar 25 if this is a dollar and the sticker itself potentially will be uh, uh reaching a low point of about a dollar 25 that one dollar offer the price it's pretty close it still will pick up some stickers here and there so it's worth keeping yeah i'll keep that that's fine yeah okay um so yeah that's another resolution where i'm like you know what that should be okay i'll probably buy a whole bunch of them at this price but again that appears to be lower than the expected low point and that's okay so do you understand what we're doing here we're figuring out um what is worth keeping and what very likely is a very bad idea to keep <laughs> so if anything i might want to keep a list and with the list i would point out all the uh, stickers that really do need to be removed and you know you don't really need to bother about worrying about the ones that you want to keep so yeah do you understand that this is all about organization and uh, you know just being prepared and understanding because you know you don't want to accidentally uh, spend a whole bunch of money um, on things that end up being a whole lot cheaper um, 
and that's awkward and then you have to wait for a very long time until they go back up in price and you can sell them again and get your money back that's not good that's not good so yeah this is uh, a, a lot more reasonably um smarter being better with your money I, i'm sure you i'm sure you understand what i mean so yeah i did say and i've said it many times the short-term buy orders are risky but if you do it just right if you do it just right everything will work out all right in the end here we are navi gold natus vincere golds always tend to do perfectly fine but again you know when the sticker capsules go down by uh, to 25 cents each they're going to get cheaper. It's inevitable. So uh, well, let's go down and take a look. So I've got a £4 buy order. That, in theory, is equal to about $5. And for the vast majority of this sticker's existence, because, you know, we waited a while until we actually saw Natus play in the tournament, and then they lost pretty badly. <laughs> um, so you know what? I probably won't even consider this first bit. Again, you know, this is my thoughts. It's not 100% going to be correct, but... Because we didn't see Natus actually play into around here. Yeah, that's where people kind of thought, oh no, they're not playing good anymore. I don't like them anymore. <laughs> so I'm going to sit here and say the average sale price is probably... Seems to be... Hmm, seems to be about £8 my currency. Yeah. Now. Now, 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 now. Here's the problem. 75% down will be £2. That'll be close to about $2.50. Natus has been around for a very long time. They have a very big fan base. In theory, yes. Me buying these for $5 each very likely could happen because I'm expecting it to go down to about $2.50. But this is where a, a big enough fan base could still keep the price up. Like, again, I didn't really take into this first bit. into, uh, into I didn't recognize it, really. I just thought, you know, we're probably better off not looking at that. But... You really do have to respect that Natus, they usually routinely do rather well in every tournament. Not this tournament, unfortunately, but yeah, the fan base is always there. People always want the stickers and it might come to a case of, all right, maybe I just need to go take a look at the previous stickers that came out. So if I go to Natus Gold, we'll take a, we'll take a look at Rio, we'll take a look at um, Antwerp and we'll just see the low points they reached so yeah look they're, and they're still the same price here but again with the Paris stickers being pretty much the way that they are essentially near direct copies of Antwerp and Stockholm of course all of the other recent gold stickers went down in price but anyway let's go see the lowest point this reached so I scroll down and the lowest point here was £5.70 my currency and then I look at Antwerp I scroll down the lowest point here hmm it seems to be around here and that is a price of four pounds so I think I might just keep the buy order because what happened afterwards it rebounded and went back up in price and yeah of course we recently had the likes of the uh, source 2 beta coming out and everybody getting hyped back in March we saw very high price rises yeah this looks like a situation with an with an extra bit of research it looks like my buy order on this Paris 2023 Natus Vincere Gold with the $5 buy order here, it, it looks like that's going to be potentially the actual low point. So, yeah, maybe I really should have taken into consideration this. So if we do do that, I'd say the halfway point is around here. So £16 divided by 4 is 4. Yeah. That seems to be around the halfway point based on the scale of the prices. That, that, that wasn't me actually calculating to pick the 16 there. I was actually quite surprised I actually got that. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, maybe that's going to be all right. Again, this might sound a bit rambly, but when you do these builders more than enough times, you kind of just gradually start to think about more things and figure out more context to take into consideration. I'm sorry if it's not super clear. I know. I understand that. But, yeah, like... Maybe in the in the future, there's there's a really good team that randomly appears and they just consistently do really well. And then they have a massive fan base. And yeah, that was heroic. <laughs> no, it was um, it, it was Astralis. Yeah. Heroics. Another. Yeah. Anyway, moving on. So um, can you immediately notice a problem here? Can you can you immediately notice a problem? 
The current price here is uh, current lowest price is seven pound fifty. Highest buy order is six thirty eight, and my buy order is uh, five. Uh oh, uh oh. So yeah, uh, the fact that we're already so close to it is alarming, and I'm just going to instantly kind of point out, yeah, this doesn't look like it's a good buy order to keep. <laughs> no it does not so uh yeah if we were to figure out averages i think we're just going to skip this big chunk here i'd say the average price is probably around here so it's gonna be about it's gonna be about nine pounds 30 we'll, we'll just kind of round it down to nine pounds so in theory divide by four i think the price is going to probably end up being maybe around two pound 20 which would be equal to about just under three dollars so yeah it's not worth keeping that is it I would need to remove that. That needs to happen. So, yeah. So, yeah. That was just, like, a few stickers there. But I hope I've got, like, most of the information across to all of you. And, um, yeah. Urban Cookie is asking me, what price was my mouse hollow? £2.50, mate. $3. Because I think that would be the low point. And it turns out, based on my, uh, my, uh, f uh, <laughs> research uh, it looks like it will reach that potential low point and i'm happy to buy them i'm happy to buy the low point because again as i said from there from 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 that point surely it can only go up right maybe <laughs> and uh yeah i have been successful with doing these short-term flips every now and then i did pick up a gold sticker here and there like today i actually went and bought a uh, monte gold so let's just go over to here real quickly uh where did i buy it i must have been just a little bit uh, here you go four pound eighty and then I then sold it for £6.19. So I made like, a, uh, you're looking at maybe about a $1.50 buy order, a uh, $1.50 profit. Hooray! But, you know, I've had other gold stickers I bought and, and hollow stickers. But uh, I, have, I have also removed some stickers as well. With the, and I will point this out, with the appearance of the uh, Champions uh, autograph stickers, um, they are very, very similar to the already existing Vitality players uh, autograph stickers. <laughs> and I had like a um, a $90 buy order for the regular Zywu Gold sticker. Let's go take a look at how that's holding up. <laughs> Let's go see how that's holding up currently. Zywu Paris Partis, no, Paris 2023. Did the regular one go down in price? No, it still managed to hold its value. Damn, I probably should have kept the buy order, but yeah regardless it was vulnerable and i actually changed it to that price <laughs> that's about 15 dollars at the moment because uh yeah i think it's going to go pretty low simply because the champions one essentially as you can see right here if we zoom in a lot look at that they are practically identical that just has champion there they are twins so, you know, if this gets super cheap, I'm very I'm pretty sure that's going to suffer with it. And I make a big fuss about this because Zowu is probably one of the most popular players right now. He's he's number 1. So, yeah, yeah. Keep that in mind. Things like this can also happen. All right. So, now begins the wait. How long will we be waiting for? I already gave you my guess. I reckon it's going to be maybe at some point next week. So that would mean over the course of this weekend, maybe I'll leave it to the very last second of Sunday. I will remove some buy orders that really do need to be removed. And I already showed you about that. And they, and it's just a waiting game. And maybe maybe the uh, discount doesn't come out next week. But you know what, guys? Better to be safe than sorry. All right? You don't want to accidentally buy something that was <laughs> far, far too high of a price when the discount appeared and... You've lost a lot of money then. You would have spent a whole bunch of money and you ain't getting it back until a long time later until those stickers go back up in price. And with the discount potentially going to last two whole months, what with Antwerp going on for 66 days and Rio's discount uh, sale going on for 69 days, I wouldn't be surprised in the slightest if Paris lasts just as long. And we also have Source 2 appearing at some point in the summer. So it looks like that's going to roll over whilst that happens. So, yeah, silly things on the horizon, but just stay optimistic. Be prepared. Preparation is key. Preparation is what will help you out in most cases. Um, even, you know, preparation to do the buy orders helps you out. 
preparation to clear away the biodas helps you out it's, it's a bit silly but yeah and your long-term biodas guys don't worry all right your long-term biodas should be perfectly fine if you did a good enough job figuring out the prices and whatnot like maybe you need to double check them as well just in case but you should be all right okay all good i hope that was helpful i hope it was insightful and uh i will be on stream uh if you look at my description you'll see the link to my uh twitch i will be around when the discount hits and uh i, I won't be screaming because like i said i'll be prepared for it i won't i won't be afraid if uh, uh you know when it appears because it, it appeared last year and i accidentally bought a few things here and there but that's fine it wasn't too many because i was reasonably prepared enough where i did remove the boulders that needed to be removed and this time i'm going to be an extra bit sure but some things still might leak through and whatnot and again we don't know how long the discount's gonna last for so guys thank you very much for watching thank you very much for watching all of this as well i i i, I already said it before I never would have guessed that I would have reached a point where I'd have over a thousand people watching one of my videos. I know I'm super niche and whatnot, but again, it's very nice to see so many of you actively wanting to try this out, and I greatly appreciate it. Thank you all for taking part. Thank you all for watching me. Have a lovely whenever, because I don't know what time of year or what time in the future you might be watching this, but best of luck to all of you, and hopefully it all works out for you in the end. And if you do make a mistake, you know what? That's a harsh lesson, but we just keep moving on. I've made mistakes before, but I kept moving on. And it worked out all right for me in the end. Probably because I still had a load of profits and money in the background. So. <laughs> just be safe.